There we have Seamus from Malifaux coming out of uh, the First United Church of Malifaux. Those following my exciting videos will remember that church as a uh, Legends of the Old West Church, but you know, frankly, it could be one of the uh, Malifaux outpost communities. This is my first Malifaux miniature that I've painted. Seamus, the whore killing psycho killer. Although the game is a very clever and fun game, I'm not sure I've ever got my head around how gruesome and a bit nutty it is. But you know, it is quite fun playing with a um, cards based rule set. Got a game coming up later today. I was quite impressed with myself for uh, being able to paint his eyes blue. I don't know if you can even tell on this, but. I managed to stop myself doing silly things like, uh, you know, yellow lapels and that jazz and try to keep it to kind of reasonable colours that a late Victorian gent might actually uh, have found himself wearing. Sorry, it's such harsh shadows here today. It is quite rare in England to get these kind of, this kind of light, but anyway. The other thing I suppose that's fun and worth showing is, um, these Renedra miniatures, um, two markers, I mean, they were fairly inexpensive, it was like £10 for about 40 or something um, of these tombstones. They're plastic uh, on a kind of 1990s slot games workshop base. And then I just very lightly dry brushed them three times, put ink over the uh, area with the writing to kind of bring it out. I think they're quite successful, and there were a few little cute touches like um, a little bird. I mean, it is a bit immature what I did with the guy coming out of the um, the ground there, but hey, well, why not? My favourite uh, base is definitely um, well, that that over there is a good use of the um, I forgot what it's called. The beastmen, uh, the little guys, sprue, I forgot what they're called. So you can tell, I suppose, that it's just a comparison of the different quality of, of plastic. Um, sprue construction that you can see over there. You know, that's a Games Workshop recent one versus the Renedra one, which actually isn't bad. It's not bad. But my favourite one is that... Um, Celtic one in the background there. And then we have um, miniatures that I haven't got around to painting yet, which I think are still quite good. That over there is one of the hanged. That's another one of the hanged. Those broken men, whatever they're called, you know, these two miners who are minor zombies, I mean, they're horrible miniatures, and I may well get some scorpion miniature and uh, Games Workshop, not Games Workshop, what they call War Games Foundry miniatures and just flog those. There's Jackdaw in the front. Over here. He's pretty good. I mean, they're all very thin and they're quite expensive, well, I suppose you think about it, but um, you don't need that many miniatures for the game, so overall it isn't. This guy's hilarious. I mean, it's like a little miniature leprechaun guy who you um, used together as a companion for Sheamus, and then over there are the bells, two of which are genius, and the one on the left holding out the umbrella, I'm not so impressed by her. I'd say we'll see what else, we'll see what else comes from this.